I took my van camping at 12,000 feet in the Colorado high country, and here's the video. <laughs> This is the first spot found. These guys are eager, eager beavers. So this is the road. That's the main road. And this comes in here. It's pretty flat for the van, which would be awesome. Some really cool rocks. The views are pretty epic. And this fire pit though, it's got a whole back to it. Pretty awesome. I'm going to keep going though and see what else I can find, but this is definitely good spot top of my list right now And this is another spot I found. This is an awesome fire pit. Kind of up on a hill here. And then there's the river back there. So that just means mosquitoes. Just kind of got out to check things out here and already gotten bit by a ton of mosquitoes. These guys have been getting bit too. So I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna stay here. This is the way came in that way in the main road. What's going on guys? I decided I'm gonna stay with this spot, stick with it, uh, regardless of the mosquitoes. I think I'm just gonna get a fire going and try and smoke mosquitoes out a little bit. And we got mosquito spray, so for me and the dogs separately, uh, two different kinds of spray. So I'm gonna give it my best shot here. This is just too good of a spot here uh, to pass up. This fire pit's huge and the dogs have a great spot to hang out here by the van. <laughs> what are you doing, Lou? I sprayed them with some stuff already. Some dog safe stuff. Here's what I use on the dogs. This is Kin and Kind Flea and Tick Prevent. It also works for mosquitoes. It's got very few ingredients. It's just got lemongrass oil, rosemary oil, cedarwood oil, and then it's got a little bit of water and a couple of other ingredients, but it's mostly organic. So I use this on the dogs. And then, I don't know, this is the stuff that Kayla found me. Um, it's, she got it on Amazon. It's called Bug Soother. Uh, it really smells really good. It kind of smells like vanilla, uh, but it's primarily lemongrass oil 
purified water, castor oil, and vitamin E. So this is pretty much organic as well. So I'm gonna try using these two things along with some sun wear just to try and prevent the mosquitoes from gnawing on us. I just bought a bunch of firewood from my property, from my land. So I'm gonna use that. And of course I got the rinse kit. This is the rinse kit cube. Use that primarily for the fire. This is the Starlink Mini. That's everything. It comes with a built-in router and this little kickstand here. So with the Starlink Mini, you simply just plug it in into any power source. Turn that on. It, it sips energy pretty slowly. And then it comes with a 49 foot cord. So once the Starlink is plugged in, it starts to calculate with the satellites in the sky and space. And then you may or may not have to reorient it or move it or tilt it just to get it uh, correctly orientated or, or lined up and then from there uh, you have internet in the middle of nowhere All right, well, scratch that. I decided to leave that spot because there are too many mosquitoes. Uh, we were just getting chowed, eaten alive. Uh, so we came back to the first spot with the cool fire pit out looking. The views are awesome here. And we parked the van kind of up on a couple rocks. So it's level. Pretty level. Uh, this is beautiful. There's the fire pit. There's the van. Rocky Mountain Beauty.
There's a the road we came in on. There's still some mosquitoes in this spot, but not as much as the other one, because the other one was just right by the river. There was a little hill, and then the river was on the other side. Here, at least, we know everything's good. We're level, the bed's level. The whole van itself is level on these rocks right here. And I think I'm gonna get some more rocks to build this up a little better so it's protected from the wind on all sides. Not perfect, but it'll do. That way is the top of Weston Pass. Bottom of Weston Pass that goes towards Leadville Twin Lakes, the west side. This the east side goes toward Buena Vista and Fair Play. So yeah, it came down this road, went down, all the way down there into that valley. That was where that other spot was with the uh, mosquitoes. So then I came back up here and here we are. Tucked back in here a little bit. Still close to the road, but. And it's kind of on a little outcropping, so I don't know. It might be really windy tonight. But I kind of built this up a little more. So it's kind of shielded from the wind. But I don't know, this little section here gets tons of wind, so. Wind or mosquitoes? Pick your poison, I guess. Well, it should be interesting weather tonight. It's uh, It seems clear down there, kind of cloudy, but sun's out right now. But then that, moving this direction looks kind of rough. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna take the dogs on a walk right now. We're just gonna go walk up this hill a little bit, get them some exercise, and then we'll come back and maybe get a fire going and maybe cook some dinner.
We're at about 13,000 feet here, so timber line. And then kind of behind me, those are the last trees. So we're kind of right on that line. It's about six o'clock at night. We're just taking some trail. It's like some offshoot trail, offshoot uh, four by four trail that's off the main road. It goes way back there. Campsite is like right down there, right on the other side of those trees closest to us that you can see. I think the weather's gonna hold. Nothing too ominous. Try taking your four by four on this. It's like super rutted. Tree porn. Isn't that just one of the nicest trees you've ever seen right there? Love some tree porn. not gonna go in it and there's also like a bunch of rusted metal everywhere seems like a good way to get tetanus I bet this goes up to another mine up there well we decided to take this other road the one that was all rutted out really I think only a side-by-side -side or a razor could probably do it or a moto Looks like another mine up there at the very end. These bramble bushes, I mean, this is definitely black bear country, moose country. Wouldn't be surprised if a moose was up in there. Maybe some elk too. This big power line that runs all the way probably to Twin Lakes. Again, the campsite's way down there. Right here, it looks like there's an outhouse or like a mine or something, an old mine. Probably haunted. There's some scat droppings. That looks a little older, but there's some fresher right here. Anybody know what that is? fresh right there. Whew. That's a beaut right there.
back at camp. It's actually less windy here because of the because of the rocks and everything are kind of blocked in. I think I might start a fire. Here's my kitchen crate. It's got all my kitchen stuff in it. Uh, this is the Lifesaver jerry can, which I use to purify all my water. Uh, so you can basically dump that in the stream, fill it up, pump it, and purify it. And then it also has like a shower attachment. Uh, here's just a Yeti cooler I have in green. That just has some drinks in it. I'll show you. Just a couple drinks. Red Bull water, um, and then the kitchen bin there. It's just got all my cooking stuff, cooking supplies, jet boil. And this is gonna be a sweet fire tonight. And of course, the rinse kit, rinse kit cube. So this doesn't purify the water, it's simply a shower. You can use it to heat water, uh, but this one doesn't have the heater attachment. It's got different attachments. It's got a seven foot hose, and you just pour water in the top of it and push a button and it's battery powered. It just pressurizes. And then you can also use a USB to charge stuff. Trying these chips for the first time. I've tried Zaps, the other Cajun flavor, but I've never tried the Cajun dill gator taters now we're talking and then i wanted to show you my new knife this is the montana knife company meat eater edition stub horn knife uh, it's a fixed blade knife comes in a kydex sheath i just strapped this to my pack Meat Eater Edition. It's got a serrated top on it, so gives you a little extra grip when you need it. And a nice finger hold there, keeps your index finger from sliding around. It's got a hole in the back for a lanyard or some paracord if you wanna tie it to anything. Really good knife, I like carrying this around. It's good for multi-purpose, good for hunting. Pretty versatile knife. And listen to this. And it's not gonna go anywhere. That Kydex sheath, just awesome. So that's the new knife I've been carrying around. I'm a sucker for these fixed blades and I usually just snap it right onto the pack here so when I'm carrying this it's just right up on my shoulder there's kind of how it looks on my pack here on the shoulder strap easy to grab if I needed to and at the ready it doesn't really move around a whole lot Fits really good in your hand too. I feel like this worked out really well with the rocks. Balanced it out, and made it flat. Sometimes it just takes a little ingenuity and you don't need a product like blocks just use what nature gave you Miki you tired oh you're so tired you're so tired it's still kind of windy so I don't know about a fire as much as I want to. 
Maybe I'll wait an hour or two and see if it dies down. It's whipping over this hill though. Sun's going down. That's good, huh? Well, it's too windy to have a fire, so unfortunately, I'm gonna make a jet boiled dinner. Going with biscuits and gravy. There's the before. Doesn't look super appetizing. I don't know how you say this, non hydration, noon hydration, I think it's noon. But anyways, it's strawberry lemonade and uh, electrolytes. You just throw it in a bottle with some water and it's supposed to keep you hydrated. I don't know, I'm giving it a try for the first time. The, the guy at Natural Grocers recommended this one out of all the others, including the packets. So figured I'd give it a try. You guys let me know, is this any good? Is this bad for you? Probably have stevia, some shit. And here we have the after. I think it tastes a lot better than it looks. Yeah. The moon is out. Ah, uh, just sitting in the van now, eating here. All right, guys, it's about 11 p.m. I did not end up having a campfire tonight. Uh, it's just so windy out. I thought it would be too risky, too hazardous. So I'm going to do breakfast in the morning. Hopefully I can have a fire in the morning and it's not as windy. All right, guys, I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out. Good morning. I uh, slept pretty well. I'm going to get a fire going here. And it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Good morning, Meeks. Good morning, Lou. These guys don't want to get out of bed. Let's make it a good day, huh?
We're going with bagels and cream cheese for breakfast with the coffee. That's working pretty well. Got the fire underneath. So I got my bagel all toasted. I'm gonna go with this, put a little organic everything bagel seasoning on. All right, breakfast. What do you guys think? What's the best bagel? Is it everything? Is it Parmesan? Is it uh, jalapeno cheddar? Is it green chili? Uh, is it poppy seed? Is it sesame? Uh, is it onion bagel? What's the best bagel out there? I like everything just because it's got everything and uh, it's freaking delicious. I don't know, I would say my other favorite bagels are jalapeno cheddar, Asiago, five cheese, and then, and then onion bagels. I like onion bagels too. Got another half a bagel on, on the fire here, I gotta check it. I didn't see or hear any critters last night, although the dogs must have heard something because they were, their ears were at attention and they were sniffing around, so. Could have been a deer, could have been anything. But it's crazy times we're living in right now uh, with the Trump assassination attempt last week. And it just seems like, you know, if I put myself in any uh, particular place, uh, you know, and from another country's perspective, uh, I think America looks kind of like a joke. And uh, I mean, America is the greatest country in the world, don't get me wrong. I just think uh, what's going on is pretty, pretty wild and we're living through some interesting times, that's for sure. No matter what side of the aisle you're on, Democrat, Republican, liberal, conservative, I just think our country's become so divided and I think we need some new blood, we need some younger candidates in office, uh, some new people you know, running things and new ideas, new perspectives. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what needs to happen. You need to get rid of the old uh, generational politicians that have been in there forever. Whew, the sun's already beaten down. Here's a look at the Starlink Mini Roam. It's a 49 foot cord, which goes all the way to my van here. And it's got a built-in router. And it is water and dust proof. Here's what the Mini Roam kind of condenses down to when you roll up the cord 
easily fits in a backpack. mining cabin or trapper's cabin. Campsite's about a mile that way. Anyways, politics aside, I encourage all of you to get out there. It doesn't take a lot to get out. Just get your car or truck or SUV, pack her up with what you got and hit the trail. This Weston Pass Trail, I mean, it's rated two out of 10. So most high clearance vehicles have no problem. Low clearance vehicles, yeah, you should be able to get up here. Might be challenging in some areas, but outside of that, get out there. Get out in nature, baby. Gotta breathe some of this fresh air, fresh Rocky Mountain air, baby. It's good for the soul. Dispersed camping, car camping, campground camping, it doesn't matter how you do it, let's get out there. All right guys, well I'm all packed up, about to head out of here, heading back to civilization. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys watching this Robinson Lander episode. I make videos fairly frequently here, whether it's reviews or Robinson Lander camping trips. Until next time, I'll continue broadcasting from way out here. Peace out.